are here today with Dr. Adam Ferguson. We're going to skin some skunks. All right. <laughs> yeah, okay, perfect. <laughs> So I guess before we get cutting, we should probably introduce our, our characters here. Um, we have two individuals here, and even though they're called the striped skunks, you can see they vary in their stripe patterns. But same species? Same species, Mephitis Mephitis, which is from the Greek root a stinky, or odor smelling, right. which is what Mephitis stands for. Skunk fact. The family name Mephitidae is taken from the Samnite goddess of springs and the foul-smelling gases of the earth, Mephitis. She got this connotation because the springs around the temples were smelly sulfuric water pits. But look how proud she is. This is a very large female, I've dark got a, color. I've got a really emaciated male here. He's very skinny, also covered in fleas. Wait, or and, lice. And lice. And yeah. he has a pussy foot. It's gonna be great. So our goal today is to turn them from specimens that have all their gooey bits and everything in them into study skins like this can, that can be used for research. The big trick is, like we said, that we don't cut the anal glands, right? If we do that, we're in serious trouble. In the splash zone. Yeah, in the splash zone. <laughs> okay. I've never done a skunk before. This is your first time? It's my first time. First time I showed someone how to do it, I cut the anal gland while I was showing them how to do it, so let's hope we don't Carry that jinx again, now that I just said it. Knock on pork board, Oh, I this guess. is what I was worried. See, this is, uh -oh. a, she's really fat. Uh-oh. Yeah. And what's wrong with them being, being fat? It's a little more work to get them prepared for the skin stage, because we have to take the fat scraper here and get all the fat off the skin. Ew. Otherwise it'll rot or grease out. What we'll do is first kind of do like we do with a small mammal where we want to get the hind legs out. Okay. So that's where we're working towards now. Then we'll cut the hind legs off. And then once we have that, then we'll kind of pull them forward. And that's when we'll start peeling away around the anal glands. Expo the excavating the anal glands. Right. So Adam, you have a, you have a PhD in skunks. I do. I did my research on this skunk here, the hog nose skunk but I also caught quite a few striped skunks. Skunk fact. Skunks are animals in the family Mephitidae, which includes four different genera. The hognose skunks, the hooded skunk and the striped skunk, the spotted skunks, and the stink badgers, which are funny little animals that aren't at all related to badgers. I like to call skunks fart squirrels, but they're not related to squirrels either. I yeah. like studying animals that we know nothing about, and most researchers aren't. Um, chomping at the bit to get out there and study skunks because of exactly why you said they when I usually I tell people I study skunks the first question scientist or non-scientist is why oh, right really? and I, I really do I think they're well I think they're adorable and they're spectacular animals right in their natural history but they we really don't know much about them and they're really maligned right yeah so you know the term you got skunked is usually associated with a bad bad thing right yeah but for us, when we get skunked, we call it the smell of success because it means we, we <laughs> caught one. Yeah. So you have you been sprayed before? Yeah, I've been sprayed about six times total. And the worst was in the mouth by a hooded skunk in Morelos in Mexico. It was pretty bad. I didn't vomit, but it was disgusting. <laughs> it's yeah. gross. So it was, it was not good. In those moments, do you question your life choices? <laughs> I probably should, but <laughs> those are the moments I live for, so yeah. no. Ooh, cool. I think he's got a parasite. Oh yeah, they have these cuticular um, parasites that are in the uh, subcutaneous like that. That's yeah. exactly what that is. Wow, I yeah. found a parasite. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, it keeps going. Mm -hmm. That's gross. That is pretty gross. And you say subcutaneous, that means it lives between the skin and the muscle? Yes. Okay. Yeah. I think that I've got a couple over here. Is that maybe why it's so malnourished? You know, it could be related. High parasite loads are usually a sign of poor health, right? Yeah. Whether it's the cause or the correlation is different. But okay. Yeah, it very well could be. So we're double gloving it. We you don't normally wear gloves when we do dissections on the brain scoop, but uh Yeah, I wear them on the skunks pants. just because if not, unless you want to be smelling skunk for weeks afterwards. Yeah. Um it gets even dangerous. if you don't rupture the gland, it's just so permeates kind of, you know, their body and different regions that you might touch. Really it's, glad I took public transportation today. I think my fellow <laughs> Chicago citizens are gonna be grateful. Right. At least you'll get a seat on the train. Yeah. I think I'll get the entire car of the train. <laughs> Look at the grease on my hands. That's disgusting. From the fat. That's another reason we double glove. I'm afraid I'm gonna like put my hand right in his anal glands. 
<laughs> and then then we're in trouble. Do you smell it? Yeah. Basically, the, the glands are big, giant, like ping pong ball size in a big adult. And then these muscles go around the side, and that's what they use to contract. And they actually have really, really good control over their glands. Skunk fact. Striped skunks can discharge their butt musk at a distance of up to 6 meters or 20 feet. And they're super good at hitting their intended targets, thanks to little directional nipples that they have on their anal glands. If you or your pet do get sprayed, abandon the tomato juice and instead go for a combination of diluted hydrogen peroxide, baking soda, and dish soap, which helps break down the fatty thiols in the skunk spray. There's the start of the glands. You see this? Oh yeah. Toofy ball. Uh huh. That's the start of it. So now what we want to do is skin around the glands coming from the, the head side out. You'll have to cut a little bit here to get closer to the anus, but you don't want to cut too close because there you'll cut through the glands. Okay. This is the most stressed out I've ever been for <laughs> oh, a dissection. No, no. no. <laughs> Just because I, you know, I've done some mustelids, you know, weasels and things, and they all have glands, but the skunk is the most famous, you know? Skunk fact. Skunk spray is primarily made from three compounds called thiols, which are strong smelling compounds that contain a sulfur element bonded to a hydrogen atom. Many thiols have a reputation for smelling like rotten eggs, which is why gas companies use them as an odorant so that you can detect when you have a gas leak. So, if you smell stinky eggs, but you cleaned your fridge recently, and you haven't had any exciting encounters with skunks, call the gas company. It could save your life. Okay, so you okay. can barely See, here's those muscles. I kind of cut through them. Uh huh. But this is that striated muscle that runs across the anal gland. Okay. So if I poke oh, yeah. there. So she can like clench her, her glutes almost. Like right. a. Right. It's like clenching your butt and you can like spray it. This smells so bad. Play it safe. Now I don't know where I'm cutting at them. I, I, I thought I knew where they would be and now I don't know. Okay. There's your gland. Oh, that is huge. Mm -hmm. Yikes. So now we just need to find the other one, which is a little. Yeah. I yeah, I got a whiff of that one. That's a, <laughs> that's a loaded one. Oh no. It's burning the back of my throat. <laughs> <laughs> this is not okay. One thing you don't want to do, which I almost did, was switch to a fresh razor as you're near the anal glands because you want dull. <laughs> so I just changed my did blade. You? Oh no. Because <laughs> you don't want to, you know, if you make a mistake, it's way more costly on this end. Questioning my life choices right now. <laughs> oh goodness. Okie dokie. You can do this. Come on, Grassley. This isn't your first rodeo. Oh, this is bad though. This is pungent. <laughs> Oh. oh God, I got another whiff of it. <laughs> it is, it's hot garlic smell. I can taste it. Oh yeah, I can taste it now. Oh God, did we? Did I puncture no, it? No, 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 no. We're okay. It's just. I tasted it. I've never tasted a specimen prep before. In the, during the break, I made, I came up with a new song. Would you like to hear it? I, I mean, would, you heard it, but I'll, for the viewers. I would love to hear it. It goes, anal gland hands, anal gland hands, everybody do <laughs> the anal gland hand dance. <laughs> I like it. So I just wanted to show you here the size I was saying ping pong ball, which might be a little over exaggerated, but you can see the two anal glands there. Now we've cut off some of the muscles. And now the next trick is we're going to clamp with the hemostat and try to cut them off completely without cutting the nipples. There's so many, I mean, clamp the anal gland could be the follow-up verse to the anal gland hand dance song. So now what we've done the in theory, clamped, and then we, ready? This is the moment yeah. of truth. And we're actually gonna cut through the external opening, see there? Yeah. The, the anus, and hope we don't, I'm a little close. Did you do it? Uh, almost, you little jinx me. Oh my goodness. Wow. Whoa, oh, and you got- you Got a little feces. What the heck did this thing eat? Plastic. Oh, great. He was eating garbage. Good. There they are. Wow, beautiful. Uh, sealed it up. Sealed it up. There they are. You got the goods. 
the glands. Did it. You ready for yours? No. So what you want to try to do, I'll show you with the big ones. Yeah. Is not clamp on, right, obviously, but a little bit above. Yeah. And then you'll just clamp, and then we're going to have to cut through all that stuff. All right. Like that, but. Yeah. That'll work. Uh, right there? Yeah. Yes. All right. And we can take double, a look. Double check it. I don't know if I got the whole clamp on there. I think yours are a little, okay, can you hold it like that? Because I think we missed yeah. part of it because his are so high up. There. You get it? I think so. Okay. So now you're gonna very gently okay. cut on the that side, top side of the- Right here? Yeah, exactly, and just cut straight down. You're gonna start cutting through where you'll see the fur because you're actually gonna cut through the anus. Now cut down just a little at a 90 degree. Yes. Okay. Right very here? gently. Good. Yep. There you go. Still going. Yep. Whoa. I'm stressed. Oh man. Okay. Still okay. going? No, no. Um, sorry. Ooh. Hang on. Yeah. Wait, I made a mess out of his back end. Yeah. Sorry. That's okay. It's the first one I did. We had a giant hole like that and you just stitch it up and it's good. Ah! There they are. Ah! Garlic ping pong's number two. <laughs> Do we want to extract some of it? The yeah. But well, we are going to it's a five mil syringe. <gasps> see that? That's foul. Wow. You can see partially how the myth got smelled that it was urine, right? So, so early people used to think they were peeing on you. If but your it's... urine smells like that, <laughs> you need to go see a doctor. You've got it. Immediately. Bro. That's oh, oh Adam. We gotta seal that up. Yeah, get no. Woo. 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 Alright, so now just like your normal guys, we're gonna Yeah. Now it's just I'm like an old veteran. Like, ugh. Yeah. Gotta pull just the like tail a, out again. A squirrel without the fart. <laughs> so you'll see why we might need the tail puller. Yeah. It's got the two different sizes, right? Yeah. For large and small tails. Mm -hmm. And what it does is it gives you grip without squeezing the tail so you don't break the bone off and then you just pop it out. I feel like my teeth are coated in this smell. <laughs> it's not getting better. It's so, gotten worse. To use it, you clamp like so. Okay, the tail puller. Yeah, pull at the base and then you just kind of pull the tail. Whoa. But hold this and pull the tail and then the tail just pops right out. That was dramatic. Yeah. All right. It kind of just, you'll feel it just give. Okay, so you clamp it and then. And then what you want to do is kind of hold the tail puller and then you're pulling, yeah, exactly. Pull away from the tail puller with your. I can't get it. it looked like it was about to give, but no. Oh, jeez, no. It may be. Give it a, give it a. Give it a try. Oh, sorry. Yeah, you got to watch the, the elbows, <gasps> right? Oh, man. It wasn't just me. No, it wasn't. Can that be your new Facebook profile picture? <sighs> oh, nice work. Yeah, and then again, we just pull the tail out so it doesn't dry shut. Okie dokie. Now this is just any other mammal that I've ever skinned. You just like kind of grip it and pull and oops, I opened Holy up this cut. chest cavity. And you, you just pull against the skin and Look just- Look at that layer of fat. That is a- that that's, is a, lot, a that's a fat skunk. That is a chunky skunk. So why are skunks usually hit by cars? Like, because they, they're common roadkill animals. You see them all over the place. They are. Um, I think it's a combination of things. They, they don't have the best of vision. They know the weaponry they have, and they kind of walk around, like Seton would say, with that air of confidence, right? They're basically looking and smelling for prey on the ground. Right. So I think they just don't pay attention. They're confident, and by the time they look up and... It's like, as oh. confident as they are, they can't win with a, a car. No. Look at this. That is a fatty skunk. It's so it's so chubby, layer. it got a razor blade stuck in its fold. Oh, <laughs> yeah. it's... I tell people it's just like pulling a shirt over your head, except it's your skin. Right. That's a good description. You can see the little elbows sticking out, little arms. Oh, yeah. So I'll get those exposed. Ah. There's a paw. Get that one out. And then I gotta do the other arm on the other side. Done. Well. You did it. Not done. <laughs> Got about four hours of fat scraping ahead of me. Real fur trappers do because they do this a lot and they have to get the fat off right so the skin doesn't rot, is they use what's called a fleshing beam. So we have 
the kind of equivalent, this handheld fat scraper. So it's got serrated sides, like when you first start off, see, and you kind of rub it and that helps grip the, the fat off. And then what the most important side you use is actually this sharp, okay. which you have to. Oh, that's doing something. Oh, her liver was not doing so good. Still... We'll take a sample of this for DNA. Lower jaw. Look Got at the that. Top done. Her Ooh. Full of blood in her lungs and chest cavity. Why do you think that is? I don't know. There's a lot of rodent sides or poisons that use anticoagulants, right? Woo! The smell of success. You can turn it inside out. Push one little paw there. Where did the arm go? Oh, there was one little paw there. Get the face. And peekaboo! I did it! All right. Yeah! There it is. There's the skin. Done. Oh. And done. That was an adventure. That was an adventure. A, sm A stink, smelly. Fried garlic. Yeah. Burning adventure. <laughs> I, that, how all adventures should be. <laughs> Agreed. Oh boy. It still has brains on it.